Hello students, this is the Access Module 2 SAM Project A tutorial. So the screen you see now is I've already clicked on the link in Brightspace to bring myself up into Cengage MindTap. So you're at the initial screen. Two things I need to mention before we start. This is Access. Access is not available on Mac. You must be on a Windows 10 computer to complete this project. Also remember, at this point this should not be an issue, but you should be working in Office 2019. So our next step is going to be to click on Start. Now, it bumped me up to step two of two because I've actually practiced this project. So I'm just going to click back and go back to step one of two. Now, you will notice you have an instruction file, a start file, and a support file. You need to click the instruction file and download it. Now, you can either open that instruction file on a secondary screen and follow your instructions from there, or you may print it. I am not downloading the instruction file right now because I have already downloaded it and printed it for myself, but you need to do so so you have the words in front of you. The next thing you need to do is click the start file. This file you need to download and you need to open. If you happen to get this Go ahead and click keep and then you always want to open it and there you go all right you can see whatever you got now if you make corrections remember don't correct them in this file go back to your original file that you did of your work okay this is your the one with your grading report so don't do that start file. And make sure you click this enable content. Anytime you have this yellow bar, click enable content when we're working in a file such as this. Now, we're just, I'm just going to minimize this for a minute because we also have this support file. This support file, you are just going to click it, let it download, Make sure that keep error doesn't pop up, which it doesn't look like it is. Okay, just let it download. You are not opening it. Okay, just let it sit in the download folder. Okay, so we have the files we need. If you need to pause this video so that you can print the instructions or get them situated or whatever you need to do before we go to the next step, Go ahead and do so. That is the purpose of this tutorial, so you can start and stop the video as needed. So go ahead and pause if needed. Get yourself situated for the next step. I'm going to bring access back up. I'm assuming you are ready to go. This is one of the longer projects so <clears throat> uh, if you need to do it in two parts that's fine I personally think it's better to finish once you've started um, but I just want to let you know that up front so we've opened the file um, SCAC 192A you see my last name here the first thing we always have to do is change the 1 to a 2. So we're going to go to File, Save As. It defaults to this, and you're going to click Save As. You need to go to the folder where you save your class files. All right? I have, as soon as things get done loading here, uh, here we go, Monroe Community College, 
Access 2019. Um, I'm actually going to start another folder because Uh, when we load, I don't want it to load my file from yesterday when I practiced. <laughs> now, remember, you've got to get rid of this one. So it just it should say your first name, your last name. There should be the underscore and a two and then dot ACCDB. Okay. This is the file extension, so make sure you don't get rid of that. Click Save. Once you do that, you should see the change in the file name up there. Okay. Now, if the Enable Content happens to pop back up, just click Enable Content. Now, in the directions, it says the third bullet under Getting Started says to complete the SAM project, you will also need to download and save the following data files from the SAM website onto your computer. So you've downloaded it. Just leave it in the download folder. It, to me, it makes no sense to move it for what we're doing in this project. You know it's in the download folder. That is where we will find it when we need it in the project. So just leave it there, okay? So the next bullet in getting started, the last one, is opening the grading info table. Okay, so we gotta look to tables here. Grading info table. You should see your first and last name here. As long as your first and last name there is fine, close it, and you have a blank workspace again. Now we are on to project steps. Number one, and I will start reading through these. Personal Insurance Inc. is a national company that insures homeowners and renters. It also offers umbrella policies that provide additional coverage. As a regional manager, you need to be able to query the database to help make decisions and to answer questions from other employees. So the first thing we are going to do is create a query based on the customer's table in query design view with the following options. Okay, so create should be your keyword there. So that means we need to go to the create tab and we are going to go to query design because it said do it in design view. It didn't say use query wizard. So it immediately took us to the query design view. Okay then it said we needed to use the customers table. So when you're working in design view, you can actually use multiple tables. They just want us to use the customers table. So we're gonna click customers, we're gonna click add, and then we're gonna close this, okay? The other thing they don't mention, you see how you've got a scroll bar here to see everything? It makes it a whole lot easier to work if you just use your bar there and just move it down to get rid of the scroll so you can see all the items that are available to you. Okay. Now, what do we need to do? So 1A says add the customer ID and you can just click on these and it will fill in below such as this. Double click and it added in down here. Okay. Then we're going to do first name last name um, and date of birth. Okay. In that order. Okay. Please note they want it in that order. Sort the records in ascending order by last name. So we're going to go down here to last name and you see we have sort right here. Well, it's like how do you sort? Well, when you click in the cell you get a drop down arrow and it says ascending. So you just click on ascending. Then it says save the query using customer last name sorted. Please know no spaces and please know where they're asking for capitals. So we're going to go right click, save, and we're going to say customer, capital L, capital N, capital S. 
no spaces. Click OK. Then we need to open the query in data sheet view. Okay. And then close it. And if it happens to ask you about saving, we say yes. It didn't this time, so we're fine. Now, we're going to open the homeowner's premium query in design view. You will note throughout this project that the majority of the time we are opening the queries in design view. Okay? So just get used to it. <laughs> so this is number two. Homeowner's premium. Okay, here we are. Right click, design view. And make the following changes to the query. Okay, we are going to delete the customer ID column from the design grid. Okay, so to, do, to delete a column, and they want us to delete customer ID. So you're going to click at the top of the column so it highlights it. And then up here in Query Setup, they have a Delete Columns. So you just click that once and notice customer ID is no longer there. Add Criteria, so we're on 2B. Add Criteria to select only those records from the Premium Field Value. So, you have to go to the criteria row. Premium field value is greater than 2000. Now think about it a little bit. What is the greater than symbol? Okay. So, we're going to put greater than and then we're going to put 2000. You do not want the comma. If you put the comma in, it's going to probably give you an error. Now, to make sure this takes I always tab over to the next cell, okay? That's just a thing I do just to make sure that it always takes. All right, save the changes to the homeowner's premium query. So we're going to save, open it in data sheet view, and then close. And you are going to notice these are the steps we're going to do on most of the queries is we'll save it, we'll open in data sheet view, and then we'll close it. Some of the times they'll also say you should have this many entries in your data sheet view. It didn't this time, but they will. So I'm just trying to give you a heads up of where we're heading with this. Okay, number three. Open the liability or property query. Please note, there's a liability and property, and there's a liability or property. We want the or property. Make sure you do it in design view. And add criteria to select only those records where the liability field equals 75,000. Okay, so we're going to go down to the criteria liability equals 75000, okay? Or, okay, now, let's talk about this. You should have read about this in the textbook. If you want the criteria to be something and, you do it on the same row. So if I wanted to do this with personal property and make it an and, I would be on the same row. But they want it to be or. So we're going to go down a row. See the or down here? That's what makes it or. Okay. So they want equal 75,000 in liability or the personal property field equals 75. So we do 75 again. One, two, three. And then just tab to make sure it takes. Save the changes. Open in data sheet view and confirm that there's uh, three records. Yep, we got our three records. Uh, then close. And we're good to go. We are done with page one. All right, on to step number four. 
open the comparison birth query in design view and make the following changes to the query add the first name field so let's just add it first okay the first name field should immediately follow the customer ID well customer ID is down here how we how in the world are we gonna get this from here to here well I'm gonna tell you how so we're gonna highlight this field but when we highlight it we need to be able to see a black thick line right here and sometimes it's tricky to get it just right because sometimes you click it and you get just this well that's not what we want we want this see that black line now if I let my mouse up the black line is going to go away but I've got that extra black line besides the highlight of the column which tells me it's ready to move I am holding my mouse down which is what's giving me that black line okay now we're going to go over I've moved it once if I let go of my mouse right now that's where it's going to go but I don't